So, welcome to the interpretation of Yan Rajasi. And I'm just going to test now by reading this line here, which says Paka Ma Ma Paka Ma Ma. Yan Paya Rajasi or Yan Rajasi, very famous Yan seen on many coin amulets, powder amulets, very powerful kata incantation used by people with amulets or Sakyan tattoos of the Rajasi lion is the King Himapant lion of the Himapant forest of Vedic legend and Thai mythology. Buddhist and Brahman mythology and uh, is uh, the king of the Himapant forest which is a forest in a higher celestial dimension and uh, there are actually four or five different kinds main kinds or more actually probably very much more but um, seen most often and uh, heard about, spoken of in legend, such as the Ramaki and the Thai version of the Indian hermit Valmiki's great epic Ramayana. Uh, Ratchasi appears in this ancient story and in many other stories and myth myths. And uh, can be found, is said in principle to have uh, a skin tone that is the color of autumn leaves, which could mean reddish, brown, beige, or anything, and you have greenish tones. Uh, but they actually inflect that he's a more beige, brownish tone. This, I believe, to be only true in the sense of the lion-headed Singh. Singh can be tiger or lion, so it's a big cat. But uh, the King Ratasi, uh, or uh, a lion, you have many kinds, such as Grison, uh, which is more mixed with uh, uh, eagle, and you have um, with uh, Naga head, snake heads, so it would have a green scaled body and scaled head, so it's not always autumn browns and copper tones. Uh, you would also have with wings. You have versions with wings and bird heads, eagle heads, Grison. You have elephant head, Kochasi. And uh, the Naga is, of course, uh, underworld and water and on the earth and water. And so as a reptilian would have green scales. And so you can see in the temples and statues and paintings very many different colors of Ratchasi with different animal heads. And if you look at the um, the uh, claws of the rat, this particular Ratchasi, you will see they are eagle claws. And this is elemental and uh, is basically a mix of the different elements because you have birds of the air, uh, the creatures of the ocean, the creatures of the earth, yeah, and creatures of fire, such as in Chinese mythology, you have the dragons with the wood dragon, the fire dragon, the water dragon, the air dragon. You have five elements in in Chinese mythology, and four in uh, Thai Buddhist mythology and in Western magic. Apart from in witchcraft, where you also some versions you will also have wood. <laughs> wood for me is not an element. I'm sorry. Uh, for me, the four elements are basically solid. The three states of matter and temperature is the uh, energy produced from vibrating molecules when they change their state of matter, such as when ice melts, uh, it generates heat. Or when heat is generated on ice, then it also causes the ice molecules and particles to vibrate, which generate heat in themselves as well and melt and it becomes liquid. And if more heat is applied, 
then the liquid becomes vapor or gas or airy. And so air element means gaseous or vaporous or airy. And water element means any liquid could be oil, could be water, drinking water, it could be mercury. That is a water, it's water in element and in its elemental is liquid. So the element of water actually means liquidity. The element of earth means solidity, and the element of air means um, vaporousness, yeah, or areas, uh, porosity, yeah, or uh, less distribution of particles of matter, yeah. And heat is always emanated or applied to change the state. When the matter, when the matter changes to liquid and liquid changes to gas, heat is always emanated, yeah, or energy. Yeah, and when heat is applied from another energy source, the same thing happens. You heat up the other molecules. What, what the heat is, is the molecules vibrating. And so the four elements, I don't agree with the element of wood because they are not elements. Soil is not earth element. It has moisture, which is water element. It has solidity, which is the particles. It has space between the particles, which is the air. And... It has a temperature, and if the temperature of the earth rises, then of course um, it becomes lava, liquid, yeah, water element. And so um, all three elements are present in soil. It's just there's more solidity uh, in ratio to liquidity and vaporousness, yeah, air airiness, porousness. And water has more liquidity to it than solidity or vaporousness or airiness. Yeah, and oxygen is less distributed molecules, so it's more airy than watery or solid, than liquid or solid. Yeah. So back to Ratchasi. The four elements are represented by a bird headed with eagle claws and the lion body would be then air, earth. Uh, air and earth or if you had a naga headed with eagle claws and a lion body then you would have water earth and air put together yeah and so on and you can see with fish tails with bird tails but so you have in principle various kinds of king lions in the rut in the himapant forest yeah and uh each of these is so powerful that they cannot be beaten by any of the other denizens of the Himapan forest. So they represent Maha Amnat, Barami, Sam Yod, Sam Duang, yeah, Sam Atib, and are worn by civil servants or Sakyant tattoos by civil servants and policemen, military, uh, what would you say, politicians, people in uh, business, executives and people who wish to have command and dominion over others. But actually, people such as military who already have anger and fighting power, they might need it. But people who are just householders and not in a profession and are prone to anger, I would not recommend this as a second tattoo or any tiger or lion or maha amnat kind of tattoo because or, or yant or amulet for this because you already have that dominion and command in your personality and if you're prone to anger this can make you worse and so i would say this increase of uh, promotion it's very it's good for promotion of profession believed to be good and uh that um uh, for dominion but for those who are shy and always get stepped on and never get taken any notice of and don't have enough power, don't have enough self-confidence and so on, this kind of amulet increases their amnat barami and the chances of promotion. You know? When you work so hard and you're too shy to say anything and somebody else shows off but they're not as good as you in their job and they get the promotion and you don't, that's when you need this kind of uh, Maha Amnat and it's also well known for Kongra Panchatri, invincibility and protection which is why so many soldiers and policemen and um, famous people and public figures like it Yeah, and to improve the profession of course so for a little bit of analysis we will now read 
this is encoded, so it won't make any sense. I'm just going to have to read each letter one by one. And at a later date, I'm going to have to analyze and decode what is actually said in the jumbled up letters because they're deliberately jumbled up. And I'd like to thank the Samnak Praming Tat, uh, Patet Muni, the head of the Royal Institute of Brahman, uh, the Brahman Institute in Thailand, which means the Brahman Hindu Buddhist. Thai, Thailand is Thai Buddhist, but it is very deeply intertwined with Brahmanism, which means Hinduism, which is where we have Ganesh and Indra, Prain, Prapikanet, Ganesh, and Pratnarai, Vishnu, yeah, Prapram, Brahma, yeah, Pratisuan, Shiva, and so on. And these Himapant animals, such as Rajasi, the lion headed single lion, uh, 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 yeah king lion, Kutasi, the elephant headed, and so on, yeah. And Grison, Paya Grison, the eagle headed, which is actually probably a mix of Noxampati, the Sampati bird, which also appears in the Ramaki and Thai Ramayana. So, I'm now going to zoom in. Sorry, I'm going to start reading these lines here. These lines here, top lines, these eight pieces, and we'll tell you also what is in the middle here, 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 and here, and these one by one. You notice there's one missing. Here we have two. This is a sacred nap. And this is an O. Uh, and here, I would recommend for a tattoo, for a second tattoo, for visual balance, to put this very same sacred knot here, to put it here. Yeah. Which would make this go a little bit to the right to balance it out as a, as a perfectly drawn yantra. Because here, I see it's not missing. It depends on the witch of the person. And the uh, Samrak Pram Heng Tad and Ajahn Urakin Muriaburana, who compiled this collection of 108 Yantra, they are correctly written. But I myself, as an Ajahn Sakyan and, and, and uh, a student of sacred geometry, ta all kinds, not just Thai Buddhist, but Thai Buddhist especially so, as far as knowledge and study goes, I would say definitely one here and this a little bit to the right. Yeah. Or you could put this bit inside. Actually, this better one slightly inside. And then this one here on the outside here. Then it balances with this one. So I'm now going to read those inner lines, which says, Pa ta. Yeah. Says, Pa ta. And this says ya i, yeah. And this says i u i, and this oh yes, the other one here was a o with the analom. All four of these are o with analoms. And this says o i i. So this says i u i. This says o i i. Yeah. And once again, this says O Ha Pa, the O with the Unalom, and E O O. Yeah. And the last one says. Wa ta na, which would mean to prosper and develop, uh, evolve and prosper. Wa ta na, but might not because it's all part of an encoded sutra formula. And this says u wa sa, yeah, and the foot and back here again, uh, pa u, yeah. 
and uh, sorry, uh, Pat. Oh, where I started, and then I will now do these inner lines. Th these inner lines here. These inner lines here. Yeah. And we will read now. Says, just use my pen actually. Uh, pa, pa, ka, ma, ha, sa, cha, to, a, u. Yeah. And the next inner line in clockwise direction says, Says ya ka ra we ha wa. Hmm? This could be ba, but it isn't. It's ha wa. And this says ha pa ya wa ta. Yeah. And this says ra a ra hang kang. And this says, Pu ha ra bi ta ga. I just check that again. Sorry, just check that again. Says, Pu ha ra bi ta ga. Yep. And uh, did I do the last line? Probably not. It says o ja ta ta pa and rana o mati ya. Yeah. And you see this yantra here, this sacred nut here. This is an o. This is a sacred nut. This is a sacred nut. This is an O. Yeah. And uh, on the top, also the same. That. This is a sacred nut. This is an O. This is an O. So I would say this sacred nut here should also, it's on the outside of this top piece. It should also be on the outside here. Yeah. And uh, then we have, of course, the four lines within in the diagonal lines here to read. And then these individual numerologies and le uh, there's a kata here. And there are some numerology signs so we're going to read this one here now. This one says, Yo pa i ko pati ko yo pa ti pata 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 ko yo pata ko sorry. And this says, Bakang baya uh, baya pang u. And this says, this here says, I, U, Pa, Wa, Ya, U. I, U, Pa, Wa, Ya, U. Yeah. And the bottom one says, this one here, says, I, Ta, I, sorry. Yeah, ita. Let me look at this one here first. What I just said. There's a i, u, pa, wa, ya, u. I, u, pa, wa, ya, u. And this one says. It, ita. 
อิตาคังอิตาคังอิหาอิตาคังอิหาอิตาคังอิหาโยพะอิโคบะคังบยับพังอุอิอุพะวะคาอุอิอุพะวะคาอุ and อิตาคังอิหา and so sorry get the my a n t r a right so then we have here a uh, number seven a number three a number two and a number two and a number four and here we have the letters สังหะทะอุระระสังหะทะอุ so this is all mysteriously encoded and I will need probably weeks of work to decode this into all of the different formulas and sutras that can be read within these jumbled up encoded Letters in ancient calm, but that was the a n r a n t a s i And once again, remember for those, uh, the these letters are all perfect and correct, so it is usable for s a k y a n tattoos. Except, I would say, if you go to a j a n s a k y a n or tattoo artist and you want this yan, you take this design, which I'm going to publish, or you can ask me. On line ID Thailand amulets, one word, small letters, or Thailand amulets at outlook dot com. You can ask me for a copy of the design, and I'll send you. Uh, for tattooing, I would just say put this here, also out here, here, and that this is a bit too far out. In balance to this, so this should just go in a little bit to about here, about here, and this second one here can then go about here, and then it will be perfectly balanced. So y a n r a t a s i if you look on YouTube for k a t a r a t a s i spell r a t a s i the same way as this video is titled, but instead of the word y a n you write K A T A, and then the word r a t a s i You will find the incantation for this, which all those with amulets and s a k y a n tattoos of the Rajasi lion can use. And uh, this yan is correct to be used. You can have it printed on a T-shirt. You can, um, well, you probably be uh, copywriting there. But you can definitely tattoo it, and do not do this. Do not tattoo this. So I would say, that this you don't tattoo, right? Okay, because it's just the word, y a n r a t a s i That's all it is. So there you go. y a n r a t a s i A little bit more knowledge about the r a t a s i Himapan lion, its uses, purposes, and applied ways of applying it as a painting, as a pa y a n y a n t r a cloth, as a s a k y a n tattoo, uh, as a y a n t on the back of an amulet or the front of an amulet, powder or coin amulets. You can also draw it on a y a n t r a foil and roll it up as a t e k r u t scroll spell to be worn as an amulet around your waist or your neck. And it's also an incantation, k a t a r a t a s i which, with or without amulets or s a k y a n t you can use to chant before going into work or going into the place where you're going to need maha amnat sam barami sam yod kongapancha tri kalkhat. Yeah. 
So there you go, Ajahn Spencer for the second foundation. And in general, my Buddha Magic Project, signing off. <laughs>